Just to let you know, Free Trade are doing an offer where for Women's Day they're giving away a free stock bundle worth a thousand pounds, as well as the free share. If you sign up via my link down below. Good luck, everyone. Don't forget to hit that lovely like button and don't forget the sexy subscribe button a lot sexier than me just ask the wife and if you want to be a hero hit the bell notification you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded and why not check out the links in the description below if you're looking for a free trading platform you get a free tra share with up to 200 pounds dollars depending on the platform you use if you deposit a small amount uh, why wouldn't you yeah i'll see you in the next video Now, in a later uh, video, I will put uh, why I will put the company I'm changing it to, and I'm still working on that. Uh, the other thing is, since then, as I said, it hasn't gone up, but you've had the AstraZeneca one come out. You've had a number of companies coming out with them. Johnson and Johnson have come out with one which is half the price only needs to be given once which makes it in a quarter of the price effectively so you need to think about these things but then there's this video i suggest you watch it all and then i will give my full summary as to the reason why at the end and since we're discussing Pakistan, terrorism comes to mind. Terror comes in many forms, they say. Sometimes it's from the neighborhood. Sometimes it's online. Sometimes it's from those you entrust with saving lives. Vaccine makers, for example. While countries like India are sending free vaccines to poorer nations, there are companies like Pfizer, which are bullying governments. It's a story in contrast, and what a stark contrast this is. The US-based company Pfizer is holding governments to ransom, interfering with their legislation, even demanding military bases as guarantee. Would you believe it? A vaccine maker asking for a country's military base in return for vaccines. On Gravitas tonight, we'll bring you two horror stories from Latin America and the bizarre demands that Pfizer is making. Let's start by looking at Pfizer's business in the region. It has vaccine deals with nine Latin American countries. Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Mexico, Panama, Peru, and Uruguay. Two major Latin American nations are missing from this list, Argentina and Brazil. Neither has a deal with Pfizer, but both have a story to tell. Let's start with Argentina. Talks between Argentina and Pfizer began in June 2020. In July, President Alberto Fernandez held a meeting with Pfizer's CEO in Argentina. Guess what followed? Pfizer asked to be compensated for the cost of any future lawsuits. What does that mean? Say someone files a civil lawsuit against Pfizer in Argentina, and if that person wins the case, who pays the compensation? It won't be Pfizer. It would be the government of Argentina. Now, Argentina had never done this before, but it made an exception. It needed life-saving vaccines, and desperate times call for desperate measures. So Argentina's parliament passed a new law in October 2020. But Pfizer was unhappy with its phrasing. The law said Pfizer needs to at least pay for negligence, for its own mistakes, if it happens to make any in future. Pfizer rejected this. It won't pay for its mistakes. Argentina then offered to amend the law, to define negligence more clearly, to include only vaccine distribution and delivery under negligence. Pfizer was still not happy. It demanded the law be amended through a new decree. That's when Argentina put its foot down. They refused. Pfizer then asked Argentina to buy an international insurance. What for? To pay for potential future cases against the company. Argentina agreed. In December 2020, Pfizer came back with more demands. It wanted sovereign assets as collateral. What does that mean? Pfizer wanted Argentina to put, and listen to this, put its bank reserves, its military bases, and its embassy buildings at stake as collateral. Pfizer wanted Argentina to put its sovereignty at stake for what? Just to secure vaccines. 
There is no doubt that Pfizer is sitting on a pile of life-saving drugs. But what gives it the right to bully a government? Profiteering from your plight and mine. You see, vaccine manufacturers have always enjoyed a certain amount of liability waiver. Say you receive a vaccine from Pfizer, you have adverse effects because of the jab. You can always go ahead and file a lawsuit against the company. And if you win that lawsuit, instead of Pfizer, it will be the government that will be compensating you. And this is a normal practice. In the United States, for example, the PrEP Act, that's the Public Readiness and Emergency Preparedness Act, gives total immunity to companies like Pfizer and Moderna. But this is only if something goes wrong unintentionally. This does not apply to negligence. Pfizer is not happy with that. It, it wants more, not just sovereign assets, but a fraud insurance. Argentina was not okay with this. What about Brazil? What did Pfizer do in Brazil? The world's third most affected country. Pfizer went a step ahead and asked Brazil to create a guarantee fund and deposit money in a foreign bank account. On the 23rd of January 2021, Brazil's health ministry put out the statement citing excerpts from Pfizer's pre-contract clauses. These are Pfizer's demands. Look at this. Number one, Brazil waives the sovereignty of its assets abroad in favor of Pfizer. This is a vaccine company. Number two, that the rules of the land be not applied on Pfizer. Number three, that Brazil take into consideration a delay in delivery. Number four, that Pfizer is not penalized for it, for a delay in delivery. And number five, in case of any side effects, Pfizer be exempted from all civil liability. The government of Brazil calls these clauses abusive. And they're right. It goes without saying, the Pfizer deal with Brazil failed too. This is a report by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism. It talks about a third country, one whose deal with Pfizer was reportedly pushed back by three months. Why? Because Pfizer made similar bizarre demands. The company has just two billion doses to deliver this year, and that is on a first-come, first-served basis. A delay of three months can cost a whole year, and it can cost a lot of lives. Pfizer is playing with life-saving drugs. It is abusing its position and having developed a vaccine with the help of government funding, it is now throwing tantrums at governments. Did you know that Pfizer's German partner, BioNTech, was given $445 million by the government of Germany? The US paid Pfizer $2 billion as early as July 2020. This was against pre-orders. Pfizer is looking at making $15 billion, $15 billion from vaccine sales this year. It is in talks with 100 countries and organizations. There is no dearth of money for this company. Why then is Pfizer bent on squeezing desperate countries of their assets? Like we showed you, nine Latin American and Caribbean countries struck deals with Pfizer for vaccines. What did they have to give up in exchange? Military bases? embassy buildings, sovereign funds. Look at Pfizer's hypocrisy. It is bullying poor countries behind closed doors. And in front of the press, it is playing Messiah. On the 22nd of January, Pfizer signed an agreement with COVAX, the Global Vaccine Alliance. It committed 40 million doses to poor countries this year. And the company put out a press release. You must listen to what they say. I want to read out a particular quote from Pfizer chairman and CEO Albert Burla. At Pfizer, he says, we believe that every person deserves to be seen, heard, and cared for. And that's why from the very beginning of our vaccine development program, Pfizer and BioNTech have been firmly committed to working towards equitable and affordable access of COVID-19 vaccines for people around the world. Does this make you angry too? It's time we call out such companies that are out to profiteer from the pandemic. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all... Now, there are two ways you can look at this. You can either look at it as... Uh, you can either look at it as, well, they're going to get uh, 15 billion from expected sales from the vaccine and they're going to get a lot of cheap land from these countries 
and they're not going to have to pay out if there's any issues with the vaccine long term. Now, there's another way of looking at it, as if they, they may be expecting issues with the vaccine long term. They may be uh, burning bridges with these governments long term for a short term profit where this, the vaccine isn't the only uh, drug that they sell to these countries. Me, I like to believe in the com company I invest in. I like, to think, I like to think I'm making the world a better place when I invest in the company. This doesn't make me think that. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Leave your comments down below.